this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to smell good all day so that you get so many compliments, you're tired of them. If you're new here, I'm Alicia. If you're not, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a huge hygiene series with all of the best tips I've ever learned to get you to smell good all day. And smelling good all day starts in the shower. So today we're talking about everything related to shower hygiene. So we're going to talk about all the things you should do, all the things you shouldn't do. So these are all of the worst shower hygiene mistakes you need to avoid making. I promise your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, wife, coworkers, friends, family, they're going to be so happy you learned this today. Before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the rest of my hygiene series. So before you even get into the shower, there's a couple things you can do to get rid of dead skin on the body, especially if you feel like you have a ton of bumps on the skin or skin texture or body acne. This is perfect to do. We have pores all over the skin on our body, just like we have pores on our face. And those pores can get clogged up with dead skin, sweat, dirt, bacteria, you name it. So all of that stuff can clog up our pores and cause a ton of bumps and skin texture and acne just like it can do for our face. So there's a couple things I like to do that really help to get rid of dead skin on the body and smooth it out like crazy. First one is dry brushing. Dry brushing is so incredible for smoothing out the skin. It really gets in there and just exfoliates everything out. I do this one to two times a week and I'm going to show you guys the right way to do this because a lot of people just willy nilly dry brush all parts of their body, but that's not the right way to do it. Dry brushing is great for smoothing out the skin, but it's also great for lymphatic drainage. So it's kind of like a gua sha, but for the body. Lymphatic drainage is where toxins get filtered out of the body through our lymphatic system. But first, what you have to do before you start dry brushing is activate the lymph nodes. We have some here in our collarbone area. You're just going to kind of rub the area for 30 seconds to activate them. And then we also have some on our armpit area. We actually have lymph nodes all over our body, but when you're dry brushing, these are the main ones. So if you're dry brushing your upper body, so your arms, your stomach area, or your back, what you're going to do is dry brush towards the armpit lymph node. This is going to help with that drainage that we talked about. If you're going to do your legs, you want to start at the bottom and brush towards the hips in an upward motion because the hips also have lymph nodes. When it comes to dry brushing, you always do it on dry skin, never in the shower on wet skin. A lot of people say that this hurts, but it's not supposed to hurt. If it's hurting, you're doing it too rough. The bristles on dry brushes are pretty rough for the skin, so you want to be very slow and gentle with your skin. Another thing I love doing that can really help to smooth out the skin, I've been talking about this for years now, it's called body masking. I think I coined the term. This is basically where you put a clay mask all over your arms and legs, and I'm going to insert a clip here so you guys can see how I do it. If you've used clay mask on your face, before you know that when you take it off your skin feels super smooth and soft and glowy and that's because the clay has basically dried up your pores and your breakouts and sucked the gunk out of them i've seen higher end spas charge two or three hundred dollars for body treatments like this so i decided why not do it at home for free with stuff i already have so then i realized if a clay mask can do such wonders for my face what is it going to do for my body i tried it out one day and my skin felt smoother and softer than a baby's butt you can use literally any clay mask for this you don't have spend a ton of money. One of my favorite clay masks to use for this is the one by Innisfree is their volcanic clay mask. I got this at Sephora and it's at a pretty affordable price point. But I also love the one from Kiehl's. This is their rare earth mask. After I apply the mask onto my arms and legs, I keep it on for about 10 minutes. And then I just wash it off in the shower and I kid you not, my skin has never felt better. I do this once every two weeks and it works like magic. So if you have bumpy skin or you just want to smooth out your skin before summer, definitely try doing this. Okay, so now that we've done our pre-shower body care routine, let's move on to the actual shower. If you have bumpy skin or body acne, I highly, highly recommend using a body wash with some sort of active exfoliant. For example, a salicylic acid, glycolic acid, or a lactic acid. This will really help to improve your skin texture and prevent body acne because it actually goes deeper into the skin to help smooth it out. Panoxyl is a great, great option for this. I've recently also been loving this body wash from Dove. It has 1% salicylic acid. Using a body wash like this with exfoliants in it actually helps to prevent odor on the body as well, especially in your underarm area because it prevents the bacteria from forming that causes an odor. And this is something that's going to make you smell good all day. Speaking of smelling good, these are my all-time favorite scented body washes. This is the one from Cremo. This is their vintage suede body wash. I just got this at Target. And I'm not even kidding, this smells like a $400 cologne, but it's $9. I got this in the men's body wash section. I'm going to be honest, men's body washes and colognes just have better options, okay? My husband buys Old Spice body wash. Tell me why. Sometimes I feel like that smells better than women's body washes. To all the brands watching this, if there are any watching this, give us better options. This smells rich and intoxicating and expensive and woody and earthy. Oh, it's just so good. Another one I love that I always have to shout out. This is a Sol de Janeiro body wash. This has that iconic scent with salted caramel, pistachio, vanilla, almond. This just makes you feel like you're on a vacation during the summer. I don't know what it is. It just makes me happier when I smell it. Okay, now if you're washing your face in the shower, 
It's okay, it's not a crime. We've always heard that it's illegal to wash your face in the shower, but it's actually not if you're doing it the right way. If you're gonna use your face wash in the shower, you should actually be washing it off with cold or lukewarm water. If you're anything like me, you're using scalding hot water in the shower. I just feel like it helps me feel something. But do not use that same temperature of water on your face. It will basically burn off your skin barrier. But I personally do love washing my face in the shower with cold water. It just really wakes me up. Plus, it's so much easier and I don't have to stand at the sink and feel the water running down my arms when I'm doing it. So that's a huge plus. I feel like being in the shower should be an experience that you look forward to. And if you want your shower experience to be better, you guys need to try out these shower towels. Tablets. These have changed the game. I have two scents that I love. What you do is you take one of these tablets. This is a four pack, but you take one of these tablets. <coughs> oh my God, too many scents around me. So basically you just put one of these tablets near your drain and the water in the shower activates it so that tablet kind of bubbles up and releases a scent and that scent fills your entire shower. And I'm a firm believer that scents can really impact your mood. So for example, citrus scents like this one really help to energize and wake you up. So they're really good if you're a morning shower person and lavender scents can really help to calm you down. So these are great to use in the evenings if you're an evening shower person or you can use both if you're like me. These are so good. I just got them on Amazon and Everything I'm talking about will be linked in the description box below. Forgot to mention this earlier, but do your hair wash routine before you do your body wash routine. Because your conditioner is oil-based, it can also clog up your pores, so it's best to do that before you do your body wash, so then your body wash can go in and kind of unclog your pores. Another thing that can really help with smoothing out the skin and making it baby soft is a body scrub. Body scrubs are basically physical exfoliants, so when you feel them, they feel like little beads are inside of them. So they feel a little bit rougher to the touch, but they're also helpful helping to unclog your pores. This essentially does the same thing as a body mask or a dry brush would, so you don't need to do all three in the same day. That would be way too much for your skin barrier, but this is just another great option that you can do in the shower if you don't want to do stuff outside of the shower. Exfoliation is also great to do right before you shave because it helps to get rid of that dead skin in your pores before you go in with the razor, so it helps you get a better shave. My current favorite body scrubs are the Tree Hut Vanilla Sugar Scrub, this one smells so good. If you're a vanilla girl like me, you will love this. It's also super gentle when it comes to exfoliating the skin. Another one I love is from the brand Strivectin. This is their texture smoothing body scrub and it does exactly what it says. It smooths out your skin texture so beautifully. This one has both chemical and physical exfoliants. It doesn't say exactly which chemical exfoliant it has, but it has both. So it's gonna go deeper into the layers of your skin to smooth it out, fight body acne and fight texture. After all of your cleansing and exfoliating, it's time for your shave routine. And I promise you there is a right way to shave and i see so many people doing it wrong if you use a shaving cream and that works for you by all means keep using it i personally prefer to use a shave oil love 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 this again from tree hut this is their moroccan rose shave oil and if you know me you know i love anything scented with rose i used to use shaving creams but i have never been back after using this I think I've been using this for about two years now. I've been through countless bottles. This makes my skin feel so good during and after shaving. It prevents ingrown hairs. and actually stays soft afterwards, which didn't happen with shaving cream. When you're actually shaving, go in the opposite direction of hair growth. Take slow, long strides because we don't want cuts. If you're shaving in your downstairs area, remember to always use an unscented shaving cream or oil because we don't want infections down there that just causes more of an odor. I have a whole video on feminine hygiene, so make sure you go check that out if you have more questions. We've made it to your post-shower hygiene because yes, that is a thing. After your shower, the best thing you can do for your skin is use a moisturizer on damp skin because we are not going into summer 2024 with crusty skin, okay? I'm not gonna let you. The reason you use your moisturizer on damp skin is because it helps it go deeper into your skin to hydrate it. So what happens is that hydration lasts on your skin a lot longer. I love this Nivea body lotion. I feel like it's such a household staple. I've used it basically my whole life and it has never Never done me wrong. Love this for a drugstore option. Another one I love is the Kiehl's Creme Decor. I don't know if I pronounced that right. This one is just unreal, okay? I use it so much, I broke off the cap. Dare I say, it's even better than Nivea. It is pricey, so I don't talk about it often, but when I use this, my skin will feel buttery soft for days. Like, I don't even have to use a body lotion for days after I use this. I still do, but I don't need to. And I actually got a refillable bottle because I use it so much. If you want to be on beast mode and have your skin feel amazing at all times, you got to use a body oil on top. We're always like, oh, we don't have time for this many steps. This literally takes less than two minutes, okay? No excuses. Before I get into my favorite body oil options, I need to address a myth that has been circulating for centuries, it feels like. So many people think you're supposed to use body oil before your moisturizer, and that is completely wrong. I don't know why this myth has been perpetuated so much, 
I get comments about this daily, okay? So I've gotten to a point where I have a response typed out in my notes app, so I can just copy and paste it as a response to these comments. So this is the right way to use your body oil. Use your body lotion first because it's water-based and it actually works to go deeper into your skin to hydrate it. Oil is an emollient. Emollients do not go deeper into your skin and they do not hydrate the skin. A lot of people think oil is hydrating, it's not. But what oil does do is it locks in and seals in everything you put underneath it. So you wanna actually hydrate the skin first with a body lotion and you go on top with an oil so that hydration is locked in tight and doesn't move this helps to nourish the skin and it actually makes your hydration last a lot longer throughout the day so it's amazing to do if you have chronically dry skin think about it if you're putting oil on top of dry skin it has really nothing to lock in so it's not really going to hydrate it and it's not really doing anything if you've been doing it the other way it's not a crime don't worry oil is still very nourishing for the skin if you use it by itself it's going to work so much better when you use a body lotion first and then a body oil on top so my current favorite body oils this is the one from loxitan this is their supple skin oil and it kind of smells like almonds i love it this just makes the skin feel so freaking soft and smooth how many times have i said soft and smooth in this entire video i can't think of any other adjective so bear with me it's actually a spray too so it's very convenient another oil i love is from the brand body proud this is their serve the glow dry body oil with vitamin c this is amazing because it is a dry oil so when you put it on it's actually just gonna melt right into the skin and you're not gonna have that greasy oily feel like you would with other oils if you do want to get into body oils and you don't want to feel greasy try this one also y'all it's getting hotter outside please don't forget your deodorant if there's one thing you can take away from this video please let it be this deodorant is a non-negotiable it takes less than five seconds to do this so that time excuse is not gonna work here the best time to use your deodorant is right after your shower on clean dry skin this is when it works the best to prevent an odor throughout the day so if you use it in the middle of the day after you've already been sweating it's not going to work as well my favorite deodorant of all time is the one from sol de janeiro this is their rio dio deodorant the key with remembering to wear deodorant is using one you actually like the scent of. This one smells just like the Sol de Janeiro perfume and body wash, so it's very easy for me to remember to use. And when I'm sweating, it literally just smells like perfume. Now, if you don't want a fragrance deodorant, but you still don't want an odor, this is going to be your best friend. The Ordinary's Glycolic Acid Toner has so many uses for the face and for the body is incredible. So this is great for your face because it can help with acne and skin texture. It is actually also great to use on your underarms or around your body as a deodorant because what it's gonna do is lower the pH of your underarms so it prevents bacteria from forming that causes an odor. When you put this on, even if you're sweating, you're not going to have an odor. You can also use this all over your body on a cotton pad as an exfoliator. If you have dark elbows, dark knees, and you want to brighten up those areas, this will help a lot. I literally will keep this around just for my body care. It's so good. Now, if you actually want to smell incredible all day and have a fragrance, you need to try my hack. It's called the perfume sandwich method. This is a scent layering method, and it works every single time. And it will make your fragrances smell so good, project, and last all day. The way this works is everything you use needs to complement each other or smell similar so for example the first thing we do after our shower is our body lotion right so if i wanted to smell like vanilla all day i would use a vanilla scented body lotion my favorite one right now is this eos vanilla cashmere body lotion it will make you smell like a sexy vanilla cupcake so your lotion is the base of your scent okay it's like the bread of the sandwich in the middle goes the meat or your perfume so again i'm going to be using something vanilla scented here and i'm using casablanca by swiss arabian this is one of the most luscious vanilla scents super affordable this is under 40 dollars on amazon but it's smells so much more expensive and this will project all day we put the perfume on top of the lotion because it's going to stick on top of the lotion you don't want to put perfume on dry skin this will just make it evaporate a lot faster then on top we add another piece of bread which is your body oil this is the top layer of your scent because like we just learned body oil locks everything in that you put underneath it so i'm using this frenchy vanilla cashmere body oil it smells as luscious as it sounds and it complements all of these scents so beautifully if you do this combo, you will smell like a vanilla goddess. Also, not sure if you guys know, but Frenchie is such an underrated brand. It's actually owned by Ashley Tisdale, and I love it because she's so low-key about it. I love her because I grew up watching her on Disney Channel, and anything that brings me back to that nostalgia, I will support. Another product I love from her brand is this Palo Santo Sage Glow On Perfume Oil. If you want to smell like the ultimate clean girl, this scent layers beautifully with clean perfumes, even just by itself. It smells incredible. One thing that I feel like genuinely makes me smell good every single day is showering every day. The whole debate about this going on on the entire internet. Whenever I talk about showering daily, I get comments like, showering daily is bad for you, it dries out your skin. If it dries out your skin, 
just use a body lotion. I've never understood that debate. I'm gonna continue to shower once a day, twice a day. I personally shower twice a day, so I have to shower when I wake up. It's just a part of my morning routine because if I've worked out during the day or I've been outside, I wanna bring all of that back into my bed and sleep on dirty sheets. But disclaimer, if you have something that is preventing you from showering every day, like eczema or a skin concern, or you feel like you're not mentally able to get there to shower every single day, I completely understand that. And this segment does not apply to you. You can take your time and do what works best for you and for your skin. That's it. Those are my best shower hygiene tips and tricks that will work to smooth out your skin all day and make you smell good all day. Remember to hit that subscribe button because we're going to be talking about hygiene, self-care, beauty, skincare every single week. If this helped you at all, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button. It really helps me out. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.